What's going on, Pantry Fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. I don't know why I said it like that. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Now, today's gonna be a very short video. Normally, when I make these build videos, I throw a little montage in the beginning. You'll see why it's not really necessary to throw a montage in the beginning of the video. This build is a lock, so I'm not gonna throw a montage in the beginning of the video of me just getting a bunch of rips, shooting corner shots. So if you want to see me use this build live, I'm still upgrading him. He's like a 93, 94 overall. I'm trying to use him daily. So if you want to watch me use him live, pop over to my Twitch. Link is in the description. One last thing before we get in the video. If you guys want to join the Discord, hit the link down in the description as well. We're trying to expand the Discord each and every single day. So make sure you guys join the Discord. All right, now that we're on the main menu, uh, we're just going to go ahead and make a new build. Okay, so for the position, you're going to want to go shooting guard. Hand this. Doesn't matter. All right. Does not matter. Jersey number, it doesn't matter. Okay. Height, you're gonna wanna go six, seven for this build. Now, if you want to go a stage lock, personally, I recommend six, six. It's just a better lock for a stage. If you think about it, there's a lot of six ones in stage, right? Especially the comp stage, if you go east. Point is, the six, six is gonna be a lot better option for a lock when you're having to guard a six, one. Now, if you just want a fun all around lock for the park, Maybe you take it to stage and you get away with some games like not having to guard a 6-1, a really good 6-1. And this is the build for you. It's just a very fun all-around lock. For the weight, you're going to want to go 217, okay? And you'll see why. Wingspan, max at 7-4. If you see if I go 216, the offensive rebound goes to a 99. And I'm going to show you why you're going to want that 217 weight for that 99 rebound. Body shape, you're gonna wanna go compact, I believe. Honestly, body type doesn't matter, so you can go whatever body type you want, but I run compact for this lock. For finishing, you're gonna wanna go to the bare minimum, just straight up 80. It's gonna get you seven finishing badges. This build does fine when you catch the ball in the corner and you have to run around the defender as they're closing out and you have to get a quick bucket at the rim. This finishing will get you by. This build is primarily like if you want to play great defense, you want to lock up those 6-9s, those 6-6s, six those 6-7s, six and then you want to be able to hit your shots, maybe hit a few fades, and snag and board over those 6-9s. This is the build that you're going to want. Now for the shooting, uh, three point, you're going to want to put it at 85, okay? You're going to max this out. Mid-range, you're going to put it at a 72. Pass accuracy, you're gonna put at the bare minimum that uh, most people recommend, which is straight up 70. I would show you this at the end, but we're just gonna put it up 65 for now. Now for defense, uh, interior defense, you're gonna put all the way up to an 89. I'm just gonna go in order top down. Um, when I was making this build, I was moving stuff left and right, up and down. Um, and then I realized that I could put this one up, I could put this one down, I could put this one down, and I could put this one more up. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go top down. Okay, and the perimeter defense, we're gonna go 93 you could go 95 to get the hall of fame challenger the homies i run with do say that the hall of fame challenger is him but i did hear that the badge is really nice on hall of fame but for the sake of this build i uh, i ran 93 and then for the steel obviously it's because it's pure lock you're gonna want to max this out 99 block 87 to get to get silver anchor now this is where the, the build gets kind of fun and interesting some locks maybe have like 90 rebound, 95 to get gold rebound chaser and just still have a decently high rebound. But this lock is going to have a 99 offensive board. And honestly, this is the first build I've made that has a way higher offensive board than the defensive board. And it feels real good getting those offensive boards and getting your team second chance points or at least second chance looks. So this build is honestly really fun to use. And then for the defensive rebound, we're going to put it at 90. Now, before I go into the physicals, we get 33 defensive badges. So far, at this point in the game, we get 7. No, after the Season 5, we have 8 extra badges. On top of the 4 from Career and the 4 from the Seasons. We have 8 badges. I have 41 defensive badges on this build of mine. Now, for the speed, you're going to want to put this up to an 86 max this out and for acceleration you're gonna put that down to a 73 strength is gonna go up to a 70 um vertical is gonna go up to an 87 i believe yeah vertical is gonna be an 87 and then stamina is gonna be a 95 sorry 94 and then i believe this was up to like a 45 yeah, yeah yeah so let's go ahead and continue um for the primary takeovers i did extreme clamps on both but to be honest with you, you could either run limitless, limitless range takeover or, you know, 
I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't do any of the rim takes or the glass cleaning takes. I had a buddy telling me that he knew someone that was running uh, paint intimidation, but there was a dude who kept getting contacts like consistently over his buddy that had paint intimidation currently like active. I would just go lo straight double lock or lock and sharp. It's probably your best bet. But let's go ahead and hit continue and uh, let's complete this my player build. So we got shades of Tony Allen, OJ, and OBD, OBD, <laughs> and Mikhail Bridges. And uh, we have built a 3 and D 2 guard. I'm telling you guys, this build is very efficient when it comes to boards, blocks, steals. Fun part about this build is because you get 40 or 41, if you've been playing the game, badges on defense. You can not only run your primary guard badges so you can guard guards, you can also run a little bit of your big badges so you can guard bigs at the same time you can run both your big badges and your guard badges so you can guard both bigs and guards like you don't have to make separate badge loadouts so that you can guard guards and then if you get matched big as a big you can switch to big you can run it all at the same time so that's going to do it for the video today's just a very short video pop on here and show you this build real quick i had a few people on twitch wanted me to make this build make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you guys do not know on my twitch i just hosted the very first best of the west tournament on nba 2k23 the tournament went great we had like 14 squads actually i might as well just show you real quick <laughs> See, if you guys play this game a lot and you guys want to be in the next tournament hopefully hosted by tg and my clan or myself hit that like button let me know in the comments if you guys would like to be in the next tournament or if you guys have a squad you guys would like to run with comment let me know what you guys think of this build it's very fun. If you guys want to watch me use the build before you make it, Twitch is in the description below. But yeah, I love y'all. And Pantries, ho. Oh.